Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about nine side hustles that you can make some money in 2023. So the first one would be doing like freelance work. So you can check out companies like Fiverr or Upwork to look for different freelance. If you have experience in web design or WordPress or logo design, maybe you can do uh, video editing, you know how to make thumbnails, you can do voiceovers, um, AI artists, all different types of things you guys can check out Fiverr or Upwork and offer your services to people to bring in some extra income. So make sure you guys check out Fiverr, make sure you guys check out Upwork for opportunities where you guys can go ahead and um, put your ideas or you know your knowledge out there so you guys can see if and potentially make some income from it. So make sure you guys check out what other people are doing that may be doing the same thing in your field and kind of see what they're offering. So that was freelance work. Next, you can do things like you can be a dog walker for companies like WAG or there's Rover. There's other companies that you guys check out. There's Time to Pet. There's different companies that you guys can check out to do pet sitting work where you are watching them overnight or you are um, taking them on walks or maybe they're staying in your house or you can go and check on them while they're in their house as well. So you guys can check out companies like once again, like for WAG or you can check out Time to Pet or Rover for different opportunities. So you guys can go ahead and check out this is WAG right here. You guys can go ahead and see what is needed for this position, the different requirements and things like that for this company. The next side hustle that you guys can do would do things like Task Rabbit, where you do different types of tasks. Depending on where you live, there's different categories. So say you live in LA or Orange County and you can choose if you want to help people with moving. You can be a personal assistant, which will earn you about $27 an hour, but it is based, if you hit here, it says the estimated earnings are based on average rate and location similar to yours. Actual earnings may vary with your rates, category, types, location, and demands for that factor. So that is just something to take into consideration because there's no guarantee that it will be that much, but it could be more, it could be less. It just depends on where you live. So you see, you can do errands, you can do event planning, you can do furniture assembly, you can do general mounting, graphic design, heavy lifting. You have help moving, Ikea assembly. Like there's so many different things, power washing that you guys can go ahead and check out. And you guys can have this as an app on your app on your iOS phone or your Android phone. So you can just see that you get to be your own boss. You get to set your own schedule. You get to grow your business. What is needed to get started. There is a pay. You have to do pay a registration fee for um, ac ac applicable. I cannot say that word cities. So some cities, it says, I guess specific cities will charge you a $25 registration fee that helps them provide the best services for you. So it may not be where you are located, but you will find out once you go ahead and apply for the services. So if you're not interested in paying a registration fee, I would see just in case, because it may or may not be in your city, but I would just check just to see. But if you're not interested in paying anything, then um, you, there's always other tasks or other um, side hustles that you guys can do as well. The next one is YouTube. So I know YouTube is, you know, some people have their feelings about it because I know you don't, you know, you're not paid, you know, right then and there. And it does take time. You do need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. But over time, I think it would be something that you can do. Like if you are interested and you have some spare time, maybe it may take some time. But if you're putting out information and maybe something stating like, say, for instance, you are a teacher, maybe you can share some you know different type of way of do, doing math you can help with other people or maybe you are a personal trainer you can share um, some exercises and that could be a great channel to do i mean if you don't want to show your face you can show how to do different um, use different types of software on your channel like there's so many things you can do you can do vlogging there's so much things that you can do out there that people are doing whether you want to show your face or not, and you can put it out there and you know, it's going to take some time because it's not going to happen overnight. But if you're doing it as a side hustle and you're still working your full-time job, it doesn't really hurt, you know, to give it a try and do it whenever you can, whenever it's available for you, I would give it a try. If it's something you want to do that, if that's a great side hustle, um, that you would want to do. So make sure you guys check out YouTube. Um, won't hurt to try. You never know what can happen. And if you're doing it in your spare time, then, you know, it's not really hurting you and you're putting out the information. You never know your video can go viral and you can start earning money from YouTube. You can also use YouTube with affiliate marketing. So if, say for instance, you found a product in your house 
maybe a type of microphone, maybe a laptop, maybe a printer, and you uh, talked about it on your channel, and then you would put a, a affiliate link down below. So you'll get an affiliate link, sign up for um, Amazon's affiliate program, and you would put that link down below. And if somebody clicks on that link, then you you know make a percentage from them buying it. Or I think it's within 24 hours. If they buy something else, you will get credit or you will get money for that too. So um, you still can make money before you get monetized with YouTube. You can also use other um, programs if whatever you're interested in, um, you can share that link, affiliate link in your bio and let people know about it. So there you still can make money with Amazon. I mean, with YouTube without having to um, be monetized yet. So because you, you know, you would have to ha be monetized to make money to have ads run on your channel. So YouTube is a good uh, thing to start out if you're interested. So that was YouTube. Next, you can do a podcast. So if you're interested in doing a podcast, you can kind of share the same kind of information on your podcast. So you can use things like Spotify. Um, you can make your podcast the next big thing. So you can go here. I'll make sure I'll leave the link below. But they have powerful tools for beginners, pros, and everyone in between, all for free. So you can read through all of this on how to get started. You're just starting out. Create and host your show here already have a show, grow your podcast. So you guys can check out all of this information, do your own research to see if this is something that you guys are interested in. There's other companies as well that you guys can check out with as well to try to get your podcast off and running. Just do a little bit of research, maybe checking like um, Buzzsprout and iTunes and Anchor and websites like that to see what they have available. Next, you can do like testing. You can test different websites or different apps, like with companies like Trimata. They have Userlytics. They have user testing. They have so many different websites where you guys can check out to do this side hustle. Now, this one's not going to get you rich or anything, but it'll be a good thing that you can do in your spare time. Um, you can earn $10 or more per test. You can do as many tests as you want, and they will pay you um, through PayPal. Um, you can do this, you know, definitely, you know, once again, you will not make, you know, enough money that'll be able to pay all your bills, but it'll be good to do in your spare time. Um, they'll send your payments out every weekday morning through PayPal and the tests are cleared for payment after being reviewed and accepted with the grader. So if you guys are interested in doing some testing for different apps and different websites, make sure you guys check out Trimata, Userlytics and user testing and other websites as well. Next, you guys can sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, offer up. If you guys have things going around like your house that are just sitting out taking up stuff in, or taking up space and you're you don't want it anymore, you can put it on places like that and you can share, you know, share it on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist and offer up and put it out there and see if somebody might want to buy it if that's something you're interested in or you can um, also sell stuff other places as well if you wanted to Go to like a store that sells stuff for really cheap. You guys can sell it maybe if you wanted to sell it on Amazon or or eBay and things like that. But if you wanted to start out, if you don't have any money and you want to just sell stuff you already have around your house, you can try places like Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up, and Craigslist. Next, you can do Airbnb. So if you're someone who has some property or even a room, you guys can use Airbnb. You can see here right here with somebody that says seven nights at an estimate of $241 a night, you can earn about $16.87. And you can use that to help. If you have a property already and you're not using it, you can use it to um, pretty much use the money you get from Airbnb to help pay that mortgage on there. And hopefully you still can make some type of um, income from it as well. So if you're interested in Airbnb, I'll make sure that I leave the link, but you can see here just what is required of it. You guys can go ahead and read over all this, do your own research, what the Airbnb setup looks like, what they're saying about Airbnb and the competitors, what they're offering and things like that. So if you guys are interested in doing Airbnb, make sure you guys check out this website. And the last one is you can do like focus groups and things like that. This one is focusgroup.com. And you can also check out paidfocusgroups.com. And there's other ones as well. You can just do like a um, Google search and Google will let you know of other websites as well. But you can earn by sharing your opinion. And it says you already were awarded 65. They've already awarded 65 million in the last year. So you can see here um, their F, so we'll go over their FAQs. 
So you can see what is required. So they have um, in person at one of their 16 offices across the US on the phone, online from a computer anywhere. So these are the different options that you have. So you're giving your uh, view on different topics like technology, food, healthcare, and much, much more. So if you like to give your own opinion, give your opinion and make extra income, you guys can check out focusgroup.com. You guys can see what is needed for this position. For all of these different side hustles, make sure you guys do your own research just to make sure that this is what you're interested in what can work for you. Um, you never know what can potentially happen if you guys give it a try and do this in your spare time when you're still working your full-time jobs. And hopefully one of these or most, a lot of these resonate with you and they're helpful for you. And I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.